All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. What I'm first gonna do is rewrite x to the power of 21 as x to the power of seven times three and we write x to the power of 14 as x to the power of 7 times 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 7 times 3 is going to equal x to the power of 7 to the power of 3. And I have this plus x to the power of 7 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now from here, I can let x to the power of 7 equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute in y for x to the power of 7, I get y to the power of 3 plus y squared is equal to 36. And if I subtract 36 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite the 36 as negative 27 minus 9. And the reason I did this is because 27 I can rewrite as 3 to the power of 3, and 9 I can rewrite as 3 squared. And notice how I have some, a number to the power of 3 and that same number squared, and again 3 to the power of 3 and 3 squared. So now I'm going to switch the order and group the powers of 3's together and the powers of 2's together. Now from here, I can use two important properties. The first property is that if I have something from a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is going to equal a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And now the second property is a squared minus b squared. This is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, we can rewrite as y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 3 squared. And then now I have this plus y minus 3 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now from here, I have a common factor of y minus 3 on both terms. So if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 9 plus y plus 3. And this is equal to 0. And this turns into y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. All I did was add up all the like terms. Now, this gives me two equations. I get y minus 3 is equal to 0. And I also get y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So for my first equation, y minus 3 equals 0, all I have to do is add 3 on both sides. And I get y equals 3. So this is my first solution of y. Now for y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0, what I can do to solve this, because it's a quadratic equation, is use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 4, and c is 12. So I get y is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 12. And I have all of this over 2a.
Now this turns into y is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48 over 2. And this is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 32 over 2. And the square root of negative 32, I can rewrite that as the square root of 32 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of negative 1 is equal to i, the imaginary number i. So now I get negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 32 i over 2. Now the square root of 32 is the same thing as the square root of 4 times 8, which is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 8, which is equal to 2 root 8. So now I get y is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 2 root 8i over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of i. So these are another two solutions of y. However, we're not done yet because remember how we let back here we let x to the power of 7 equal to y. So if x to the power of 7 is equal to y, then I get x to the power of 7 is equal to 3. And I also get x to the power of 7 is equal to this. However, you can't take the power of a number and make it equal to an imaginary number. So we cannot use these two values of y. And the only value of y that we can use is 3, because this is a whole number, not an imagined number solution. So if x to the power of 7 is equal to 3, to solve this, I'm going to take the 7th root on both sides. So I get the 7th root of x to the power of 7 is equal to the 7th root of 3. The 7th root of x to the power of 7 is x, so I get x is equal to the 7th root of 3. Now to check. My equation was x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. And the 7th root of 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1 over 7. Now 27 times 1 over 7 is 3, so I get 3 to the power of 3 plus 1 over 7 times 14 is 2. 3 to the power of 3 is 27, and 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So I get 36 is equal to 36. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite this as 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. Now if I factor out 9 to the power of 900, I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1, which is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. Now this, this turns to 3 squared to the power of 900 times negative 8. And negative 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3, and I'm going to put the negative sign at the front. <coughs> now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So it's going to turn into negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is the most I can simplify this, so this is my answer.